Justin Trudeau's lack of democracy in his democratic reform. I'm Brian Lilly with the rebel.media. It was a simple question from a student at a campus gathering, a town hall style meeting that Justin Trudeau was holding to talk about his time in government so far. Six months in, right? Well, this young man wanted to know, why won't you hold a referendum on changing the electoral system? Why won't the government necessarily commit to a referendum? Um, to give the chance to all Canadians um, to decide whether they want to change their democratic system or not. It's a valid question. You want to change how we vote? Give Canadians a vote. Well, I want to play you, Trudeau gave a long and rambling answer. I want to play you part of what he actually said here. First, he said, well, people voted for changing the voting system. We put forward a very clear uh, platform uh, that said this will be the last election held under the first past the post system. It was a commitment we made. It was at the center of uh, what we were talking about, how we needed to reform, uh, reform government, reform parliament, or reform the way things work. Uh, and uh, Canadians responded positively and massively. All right, a couple of problems with what he said there. They responded massively? No, you got 39% of the vote in this last general election. Truth be told, you got a little bit less than Stephen Harper did in 2011, and you would have rejected him just changing whatever he wanted about our voting system without going to a referendum. So that's the first problem. You did not win massively. 39% of the vote. That's how you got your majority. Secondly, the idea that Canadians were voting to change the voting system, that that's why they backed you, that's foolhardy. You know that that's not true. They were voting for you for many reasons. Primarily, you got the support of people that wanted to get Stephen Harper out. You got the support of people that wanted bigger checks from government. But you didn't sweep the country based on saying, let's change the voting system. So let's stop with that fallacy. But next, Trudeau went on and on for a while and then eventually gave the real reason that he doesn't want to hold a vote on changing the voting system. He's afraid he'll lose. Many of the people, and I'm not accusing you directly, sir, uh, who propose the absolutely we need a referendum, well, they know that the fact is that referendums are a pretty good way of not getting any electoral reform. The fact is, whether we're talking about British Columbia, Ontario, Prince Edward Island, New Zealand, where they held several, there are examples of votes choosing to alter the electoral system and votes against changing the electoral system. That doesn't mean you don't vote. If you truly believe in democracy and want democratic reform, then you don't just let the elites at the top decide how the system will work. Justin Trudeau goes on and on about how we can get a better system. Let me ask you, what model are you looking to? I would argue that Canada has one of the best democracies in the world. Who are we going to be beaten out by? Are we going to be beaten out by the United States? Maybe Britain? Well, definitely not Britain anymore. And definitely none of the continental countries in Europe. So where else? We come from the most successful democratic system in the world, the Westminster parliamentary system. It works and it, is, it has produced governments of some of the most freest countries on the planet, some of the most economically liberated and some of the most economically successful. What more do you want? other than the fact that, like your father, sir, you don't like Canada's British roots. And that's at the heart of why you want to change it. Maybe you should just admit that. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.